could be good. Oh my, on the green? <laughs> Not a walking, a running. All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the final few videos out here in New Zealand. We are out here at Royal Auckland, obviously in Auckland. <laughs> this is, uh, honestly, I'm gonna fuck. I think this is pretty much the premier golf course in like the city of Auckland. I know there's obviously Taraiti further up north and TRI, that's also up there. But it was in the plans to, for me to go play Taraiti and TRI, but they just aerated the greens up there in Taraiti and so I think I've played like maybe one hole out here they've like redone this place since I've seen this place in 2019 so probably won't recognize a whole lot I'm gonna go off of what Ty says but yeah we got Ty out here again again I'm sure you guys are probably tired of me being in the channel but um, <laughs> Royal Auckland welcome to Royal Auckland this is my home course one of my home courses uh, fantastic track it's a bit rainy so hopefully the rain stays away but um, show you some good golf and a good golf course okay first hole of the Grange 9. We have 27 holes here and uh, each 9 has a different name so we're playing the Grange course first. We're playing 27 right? No <laughs> comment. Um, well actually how far is this? Nothing on there. Great. Mm. So There's about 380 meters ish. Hazard up the right, bunker down the left. So um, headed down the middle. All right. It's all good. Oh heels man. Uh, is that carrying the bunker? Not today. It did. <laughs> I think you carried it. No, I don't think so. Oh, that was stiff. Oh. I'm also going to be going to the driver. Just following Ty's footsteps out here. Because again, I don't really know this course. Oh. There it goes left. Go over the bunker. Well, that one like skipped through. Okay, managed to get over this uh, or cop over this trap. But, Focus um, over the bunker. Yep, good eyes, mate. Now I'm left with an awkward lie and some grass behind my ball. <laughs> I've got 132 <laughs> meters downwind, so I've got my pitching wedge. Just um, just trying to get it on the front edge and uh, let it roll out. Oh. Go a little bit. Ah. Big bounce? No. Oh. Hang on. That weed made it sound like you hit the ball like twice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got 124 yards. Downwind, flags in front, slightly downhill. 124, probably gonna go with like a 115 shot. If it ends up maybe slightly too far, that's honestly, that's fine. That's a brave position there. A little bit brave, but it's fine. Oh, jumped it right. That all. Little wrong, long right. Yeah, it'll be fine. Kind of longer putt, but the greens seem a little soft. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, there's been a lot of rain here, so what do you expect? But Ty was telling me that this place has sub air, air system, mm. cooling system, mm. air system, mm. drying system. Mm. What is it? Okay, come up a little bit short. There's a bit of a ridge here, so I kind of rolled back. But pretty simple chip, uh, about 13 meters ish uphill lie. Get aggressive, get nice and close, or maybe try and hold. Oh, tasty. I'll take it. That's good. I'll give you that. All right, we got a uh, pretty long putt, honestly. It's like 40, I don't know, it's more like 50 feet. Breaking a decent amount right to left. It should be kind of slow. It's also, if you look around, there's like a bunch of like, they put this green in a spin cycle. It's not soap, but they like whenever like the greenskeepers mow the greens, it's like a, it's a way that they know like where they mowed previously. So, anyways, trying to get the speed right. Yeah, these greens are definitely definitely not like super fast. Kind of more on the slower side. I think they. Uh, I don't know. It's just been a bunch of rain here in Auckland, unfortunately. But let's try to start off this round with a little. Clean two putt. Yay! All right. Easy. All right. Wouldn't really call it easy, but very cool. One. Definitely a little bit of a tester there. On my second putt. But hey, two pars for us. First hole. Let's see what we got next.
All right, second hole, pretty short one, drive par four. 316 meters, so about 350 yards. Actually, it's quite, it's probably not drivable, but. Um, small wedgeable. Small wedgeable, it is downwind, so that's why I'm saying that, but it's kind of soft, so probably not drivable. Mm. Looks like it's maybe too far left. Oh, all good. Yeah. Not bad. Not down early. in the air. All right. All right. I'm also going with driver. Honestly, at this point, just assume I'm just going to hit the same club as Ty because I don't know these holes. So I'm going to go down the left side, try to hit a little cut with the driver. heard some trees I heard some trees but I think it's a good sign I was supposed to go left first and then fade not just you know shove it out to the right and then fade it further Ooh, so. all right we got 95 yards in the, uh, the stuff over here shouldn't be all too bad lie wise I can move this guy as long as the ball doesn't move yeah the ball's moving never mind 95 yards 87 cover the bunker so I'm just gonna try to hit this thing like a 90 a 90 yard shot with a 55 degree. Oh, came out nice. Oh, Ooh, could be dip. good. I think it landed real soft. That pin's like really close to that front bunker, so I think it played it pretty nice. All right, guys, I'm in the fairway, but I'm kind of blocked out by this uh, tree here. The pin is kind of front. I've got 46 meters downwind. Uh, I'm going to go over it and then hopefully stop it um, before it gets down the back ridge. Oh! Oh, oh it just no. clipped it. Oh! Actually worked out okay. It actually did work out okay. It just clipped one of these guys and just like kind of sent it to the right. I don't know if you guys saw it on video, but... Yeah, it worked out. What now, baby? What does this part do? I got shit all over my line. All right, we are, uh, I don't know, like 12, 15-ish feet, more like 12 feet. Should be moving slightly right to left, I think. I wish the greens were faster here because you can you can kind of see like the undulation here. There's a bunch of ridges and like fall off areas. Oh, this would have been so much fun if it was faster, but hey, can't do anything about the rain. I can, however, try to make this putt over right to left. Right to left, my anus. Yeah. Good read, Quan. Real nice. Okay, after a kind of a, I guess, fortunate kind of clipping, I've got about seven, eight feet, slightly right to left. Pretty, uh, pretty simple part. Let's see if I can make a birdie. Oh, just as soon as it's in. Wow. Ty with an early lead. One under for Ty. Even par for me. I have to step it up here. This nine holes, there's not that many holes for me to try to catch up if I do get behind. So it's a good solid start for Ty. Ty, is this, uh, is this outfit Adam Scott inspired? Yeah, Uniqlo. <laughs> I think he's a Lulu. Literally with your head down right now, foot, it looks like joys. you're Adam Scott. Yeah, foot joys. <laughs> On the classic kind of look. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> third hole. Good start um, after that birdie. Shortish par four, but it's into the wind. Usually like three wood um, for me, but uh, I'm going with driver because it's uh, soft and a little bit uh, into the wind. So uh, see if we get another fairway. 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 Slightly right. Right's better than left. Oh, that's in the fairway. Yeah. That all good. That all good. <laughs> All right, I guess right side's a little better, so I'm gonna hit a little, little cut. Hopefully we can figure out this driver here. It's only been three holes, so come on. <laughs> oh, needs to cut. Well, it is a little cut, but. Oh, that's. Oh, it's gonna be pretty tough there. I think I'm right behind a tree. Hmm. Usually a good spot. Uh, hit the fairway, didn't go very far, but uh, I've got 122 meters, I've got 9-iron into the wind now. 
So I had a little three quarter Tommy Fleetwood punch in there. Oh, top drawing. Slightly too much big ball. Uh, okay. That's fine. I think pin high ish. Yeah. A little bit left, but pin high. Good chance. We've got 100 yards. I do see a window, but definitely gonna have to draw it quite a bit, I think. I mean, there's a good bit of slope that goes to the left, I think, from the right side of the green, so. If it draws, it should be good. If not, fine. We have to go with like a pitching wedge from 100. So really chippy. Mm, a little right. I want to say that's probably too far, but it might it might stay on the green, maybe. All right. Well, I thought it was a little long. I am plenty long. Didn't even see in the first cut or anything. I'm. Uh, Almost in the gunge right there. Got a chip though, plenty of green to work with, straight uphill. <sighs> See if we can uh, judge this lie correctly. Kind of trickled out to the right a little bit, but not bad. I think we can manage that. All right, after my pretty decent nine on, I've got about 15 feet down the hill, right to left, but um, greens aren't too quick, so uh, give it a run gets two under. 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 Under, under, under. Under, under, under. Oh, it looks pretty good. Ow! Go behind the hole. Put that ball Ow. behind the hole. Hey, good All right. I saw a good look off of Ty's ball there. It should be moving a little right to left. Uh, it's like right edge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good save. Well, not a good good spot off the tee, not a good spot after the approach shot over the green, but hey, got it up and down. We need not be putting for pars though. We need to try to make birdies to keep up with Ty. I think he's gonna be playing pretty solid out here. It's his home course after all. Fourth hole, I've got a little par three now. Downwind off the left, 140 meters, I've got wedge, but uh, water up the left, actually pin is really tucked in the left, so mm. don't go to the left, and don't go too right, obviously. Yeah, obviously wind coming off the left here, and pins on the left, water left. Tough shot here. Oh, well, it's drawn into the wind, kind of. A little short. I kind of chunked it. It's kind of up and down the flag stick though. All right, we got 152 yards. Dude, that flag looks like it's trying to come out of the hole. I almost want to just like aim in the water and like fade it back in, but let's be responsible. Let's just, uh, just go kind of right where Brittany's standing and just hit like a little draw. If it draws, great. If it doesn't, middle of the green, all good. All good. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, that didn't really, didn't really fight into the wind like I was wanting it to. I wanted to try to draw it in, but we got another chip. All right, well, my ball was in that muddy stuff over there, casual water, taking a drop. Honestly, I'm sick of having chips. I need to start hitting greens, making some birds right now. But right now, we got to pay attention to the shot right now. How many times am I going to say? But right now we gotta pay attention to the, to the shot. Hopefully get this thing real nice and close. Stress-free par. A little stressful right now though. Pedal, 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 pedal. Can't tell what that reaction is by Ty, but that chip came out way too hot. Dude, I hit that way too hard. All right guys, lucky uh, my wedge didn't uh, spin back. Didn't quite hit it good, but um, I'm kind of on the collar here. About 33 feet-ish. See if I can sneak one in there nice and close. Bank part. Yeah, nice. I'm very jealous of you right now. That's good. Oh boy. I'm lucky this isn't in the water right now, but this might be harder than the last shot. Pull a Woody Allen. I'm serious.
hopefully you guys are enjoying this kind of video out here at Auckland. But if you guys are trying to improve your golf game and really take your golf game to the next level, I actually have my course management program that has a lot of info about all the things that I'm thinking about on the golf course. Not like what I'm doing out here on the on YouTube. I'm mostly just kind of going over the shots really quickly, mostly for entertainment. But in the course management program, just get you get all the different shots in different situations on the golf course. Here's a little sneak peek of what you'll find in the course management program right here. Another thing is, is this really frees you up mentally. I mean, I can't tell you how much I disagree with the aim small, miss small mentality. I mean, I'm sure it works for some people. And if that's you, please don't let me change your mind on that. But I definitely think that it can lead to feeling what I call squeezed in mentally, meaning like you feel like you have to thread a needle and hit a really perfect shot to play good golf when really that's just not the case in my opinion. I actually have a free version of my course manager program. You guys can check it out. You can click the I in the top right corner or it'll be linked in the description. Also, if you want help with your golf swing, I have my swing program that's also linked in the description. All right, hole five, straight into the wind. Into off the left now, a little bit long of, hole. A little like, bit of rain here yeah, too. Yeah, a bit of rain. 400 meters, dog leg right. OB up the right, pretty comes in pretty tight, so stay up the left hand side. Over the carts. Carts. Oh, that's over. Hang on. Not really sure, it looked like it was a good bit right. Didn't see it land. All right, we're going with driver here. Wind's just kind of going straight into. It's gonna go up the left side, little cut. If it's down the left, I think it's fine. Uh, I mean, didn't really hit that great, but hey, I think it's in the fairway. I think we're all good. Man, it's starting to rain. Okay, guys, went right under a tree, decent lie, 180 meters into the wind. I've got four iron, just basically just trying to advance it somewhere around the green and uh, try and make par. It is hissing rain right now. <laughs> hissing. <laughs> Ooh, little tiger action, clip the leaf. Oh, I never my. saw it. That's... Oh my, on the green? <laughs> I don't know how I did that. <laughs> Man's just trying to get out of the rain at this point. Look at this, it's freaking, well, it's not pouring. It, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like the, the rain here in Auckland, whenever it says it's gonna rain, sitting on some wet seats, but it doesn't really pour out here. It's just kind of like a drizzle, but it like lingers and lingers. Lingersman. All right, we got 192. I'm in the fairway off this like, I don't know, slanted over to the right kind of. Wind's also moving over to the right. Should be aiming at like, I mean, shoot, it should be outside of the left edge of the green, so let it fade back. Just hit a green, you idiot. <laughs> Hold on. I can get this water off it. No, 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 no! <sighs> Just shove that to the right. Got it all going on today. All right, well, I'm honestly sick and tired of saying that I have a chip right now. But I have a chip right now. It's like, uh, I don't know, 35, 40 yards. Probably gonna go with the 55 degree again. Let it kind of come in a little low and should check up. Oh. Okay, okay. Maybe slightly short, but it's not too bad. I think I can manage that. After a career shot with my four iron under the trees, left with about 45 feet. Up the hill, a little left to right. Let's see if I can get away with a par after that uh, miracle shot. Have I done it? <laughs> that would have been such a steal. <laughs> well, this is a little bit double of what I thought. I thought it was six feet. It's more like uh, 10 feet. I guess it was a little bit lower down there, but let's try to get this on in. I would really like this putt right now. Hoppy, hoppy. Hey! Oh. <laughs> hoppy, hoppy. Oh, it's been an ugly round so far, but just one of those days. Swing isn't there every single day, so. Ty still one under par with the unreal save there for par. Let's go.
Jeez, I'm explaining every single hole. Okay, sixth hole. Kind of a mid-range par four, 370 meters, but um, there's a hazard kind of at around 240, 250 meters. So, I'm gonna go with the deuce. Hazard up the left, so don't go left. There are trees there, so I'm gonna try and hit a little draw off the right tree. Hang. Softly. Okay, softly. I think it was okay. Still fairway? Uh, it should be fairway. Okay. Yes, should be. I know you guys are sick of Ty explaining all the holes. Oh, they love my. He probably yeah no honestly he probably does a better job. I mean he definitely does a better job than me out here because I've never seen any of these, these holes. But go with hybrid as well. Probably keep it a little bit right of Ty's line. Can I hit one good shot today? You oh, get away with it. I almost missed that ball. <laughs> I mean got away with it. Ball still rolled out. Still got down there, but. Goodness. Uh, luckily, my two iron landed softly, so I uh, stayed in the fairway. Pretty hard right to left wind. Pin is tucked right, so don't really want to go straight at the pin. Plenty of green on the left, so uh, let's go for the heart of the green and make a nice little power bit. Oh, hang on, ball. Trying to cut it against the wind. It looks about pin high, man. Oh, might have rolled a little bit off. Yeah, it should be still on the green. Yeah, it's soft enough, I think. Surely. All right, we got 160. The wind just all of a sudden started blowing, and the, the rain's back now. So, Ty, you hit it at a perfect time. I'm going with the go with an eight iron. Try to cut it into the wind a little bit. Come on, a good shot has to come eventually, right? Slinging. Oh, get there! I dunked it. I dunked it. Oh my goodness. I think I'm like zero for 20 for shots right now on if they're good or not. That one I chunked, T box, I thinned it, almost shanked Actually it. shanked the driver earlier. This is great. All right, we uh, just came out of the clubhouse after like a, an hour long rain delay. It is now freezing cold. My leg was completely drenched. But here we are, back on the course. The course is pretty drenched now. But uh, yeah, got my putt still, uh, I don't know, 60 feet. Ty's literally doing jumping jacks because he's so cold right now. <laughs> oh man. Sub here, baby. Dude. Sub here, I right. smushed that ball. <laughs> I hit that so hard. Okay, just short of pin high, but I've got about 40 feet up the hill. Uh, like Quan said, we had a bit of a rain delay, so. Let's see if we can get the speed right. Oh! <laughs> Just come straight out of the clubhouse, ready to make putts again. Oh. Jesus! Alright, that's good. When Ty was talking about how we just had a rain delay, I didn't mention that New Zealanders are crazy in the rain. Like, they will just play in whatever rain is pouring. They just chuck on their their rain gear, put on an umbrella, and they just like they just keep on playing in the rain. Like it's just pouring rain. It'll keep going. I've honestly never seen anything like it until I came here. But we got us got a little five footer. We're right to left. All right. Oh. Two putts for both of us coming right out of the clubhouse. Yo, I gotta warm up again. Also, we got. Uh, Pukiko's out here. Pukiko's? Why are they running away from me? Anyways, I'm filming them because screw you, Ty. I'm gonna do the intro on this hole. Part five, going a little left. Can't tell you if it's reachable or not, so I'm not a great person for this intro, but going slightly to the left. Don't think those bunkers are in play. Both going driver. How'd I do? <laughs> oh my beauties, man. Straight out of the, what rain delay? What warm up? You don't need that. Oh, nice oh, peel. Peeler. I'm still catching that weird, like, low heel spot, but 
Honestly, I don't mind doing that all day as long as I uh, get the ball in the fairway. All right, split the fairway. Split the fairway right there. Because it was into the wind, I've got 235 meters. I think Ryan Fox, he, Ryan Fox is a member here who's um, top 30 in the world. I think he's had like nine items before. Goodness. So downwind. Um, but I've got three wood. Left, kind of like center of the green, has a big ridge down the left. So it kind of goes all the way down the left. So you don't want to really go down there. A little right is fine. Holy, that looks on, really talk good. To talk to me. That looks really good. I mean, I you hit that right good. on the screws. I think that's pretty good. Fight, fight over the green in the water? Yeah. All right, I've, uh, I've also got three wood. I got 252 flag into the wind off the left. Yeah, just trying to go a little left of the flag, a little fade in. The wind should also be kind of drifting it on in there. So, come on, we got to get that one bogey we have on the scorecard back. It might roll. It's freaking wet out here. All right, well, get out of here, hoodie. I have missed the green well to the left, uh, but we've got this big old ridge right here. Show them what I'm looking at right now. This massive ridge just short of the flag, and I've been going to have to pitch it from over there. Not the greatest of lies, but the greens are soft enough that I can just kind of use height and just should land soft enough up there. Oh, settle, settle. Yeah, it looks pretty good. If it has enough spin, I think it's fine, but probably just a little bit past, but decent look at it for birdie, I think. Oh, now you gotta work up this ridge. Oh, okay. This is kind of the ridge I was talking about. I think I was probably just on the edge and uh, probably rolled back down, but uh, pretty good shot anyways, but I've got a huge ridge to get over, about like 60, 50 feet. Let's see if I can two putt. Well, you got it there. Go. Ah, Even that's short. Not too bad. Not bad though. Well, I do have a look. It's a little bit further than I thought, like 15 feet. I'm just sick of being over par right now. Need this birdie. Hold it then. Mm. Oh. It's all right. Give it a decent run. All right, pretty good first uh, putt, but I've got about seven feet. Pretty straight. I think it's a little left to right. So uh, let's see if I can make birdie. Bird. Oh, just creeps it in. <laughs> yeah, go run to the cart. <laughs> Eight poles of quite a strong par three here. It's about 200 meters, so 217 yards ish. Yep. I've got three iron. There's a uh, tee box back there making this hole like 250 yards. Mm. Could be a little bit. Not fun. A little bit ridiculous. Sounded pure. Drive button the left. Oh, oh my whoa. Lord. A little long ski. <laughs> I'm an idiot, eh? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go with the four iron. Ty hit a three iron there. Honestly, I thought three iron was probably about the right club, but let's go with the four, kind of fade it into the wind. Wind's off the right, obviously. Okay. All right. Hey, today, greens are good. I'm a beggar today. I'll take any greens I can get. Guys, I roasted my three iron. Slightly long, a pin high. I'm in the rough here, but pretty good lie. It's uh, slightly downhill, so I'm just gonna pop this up, let it roll down, feed down to the hole. See if I can make an up and down. Here's the go. Oh, not my best, but probably like 10 feet away. Let's see if I can make that. All right, actually uh, about pin high-ish, maybe slightly short, but we got a big old like, knob here on the right side, kind of going right to left, and it kind of, it should straighten out. A little bit downhill as well, so just trying to get the speed right here. So like I said, I've got about 9, 10 feet to save par. A little bit right to left, pretty flat. 
Let me see if I can walk in another putt. Oh my goodness! Not a walking, a <laughs> running. I don't understand how you do that. You have like so much confidence that it's just gonna Not go in. Confidence. It's, it's just, just assumed? You just hit and then you just walk. <laughs> Okay, ninth hole, last hole of this video. Is it gonna be the. Yeah, I think we're gonna do a little two parter here. A little two parter. Last hole of this video. So, ninth hole, pretty long one actually, but it's downwind. There is a bunker about 250 meters away. So, I wanna stay right of that. Um, I've got my two iron. Let's see if I can hit a nice little stinger down the uh, field. Stinger. stinger. Oh, a little, a little. Hooked it. A little too much cookage there. Oh, actually. Yeah, it's in the rough. In rough. Why do I feel like Steven on that shot? <laughs> <laughs> like, hit, like recoil, and then like, <laughs> like his recoil's faster than his yeah. swing. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right, going with what Ty said. He, he said he's gonna go with a two iron. I'm right, a hybrid. Just go. Uh, let's just get one in the fairway, huh? Not complicate this this thing. Do the thing. Do Gotta the do thing. the thing. Oh, there we go. I mean, if that's not good, I don't know. Yeah, that's solid. Right in the middle? Yep. There we go. All right, two, two on went a little bit left, so I'm um, just in the left rough here, but um, got a decent lie, 188 meters, so it is a long shot. Wind is kind of with me, so I'm going to sling a 5-iron and see if I can get on that top ridge. Don't want to be short because there's a big kind of swell that brings all the balls back. Top G. Yep. Oh. Actually, no but... Supposed to swing, but it didn't swing. I got 189. Yeds. Yeah, Pin is all the way in the back. It looks like there's a big old ridge. Am I looking at that right? Big old ridge short of the flag. Mm -hmm. We go with the soft seven iron, I think. Honestly, I think uh, usually not the case, but if I go a little bit long, it's fine, I think. Don't want to be putting up that ridge. Uh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. <sighs> it's just not really my day, huh? What are the chances of me making that? 100 foot putt. <laughs> One out of probably like. I'll be here all day. Yeah. yeah. Win the lotto. Probably easier. Okay, as a result of my non slinging five iron, I lift myself with about 30 meters. I'm gonna need to kind of flop it. Usually, this spot you're kind of dead if the greens are quick, but uh, luckily, obviously, it's been raining a little bit, so it's a bit softer. So let's see if I can flop this one nice and close, make my par to finish the front nine. Not great. Not great. All right, guys, this putt. Oh, this putt is ridiculous. I was correct in saying that over the green is just fine. Plenty of green to work with there. I mean, it's kind of downhill, but anyways. It's going straight up at Ridge. Uh, I'm gonna have to give this thing a good solid whack. If I get this ball past the hole, y'all have to like the video. Go! Okay, now settle. <laughs> Pretty good. All right, I, I did get it past the hole. I did get it past the hole. We shook on it. We shook on it, remember? <laughs> All right, guys, I've got about 15, 16 feet to uh, finish off my front nine here. See if I can hold another part. It's a little bit uphill, left to right, so I'm gonna have to get, give this one a little extra. I don't understand. <laughs> I, don't... <laughs> well, I know these greens. I know these greens. Wow. Oh my. Okay. All right. That's a good solid two under for for Ty. I mean, this putt doesn't matter, but I just want <laughs> I just want to two putt this putt. I... You've done that so much this video. Yeah, solid two putt. That's a tough two putt. Oh man. I honestly walking up here, I didn't. <laughs> Chances of two putt that is pretty slim, but hey, good solid plane. I got some work left to do. We're gonna play the uh, the Middlemore 
other nine is called Middlemore. And Ty's been telling me that's the more prettier nine, so. But yeah, as always guys, if you guys have made it all the way to the end of the video, make sure you give me a like. It really helps me out when you guys do that. And if you're not subscribed already, YouTube's been telling me guys that 60% uh, of you guys are not subscribed. So if you're part of that 60%, what are you doing? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And I'll see all you guys in the very last New Zealand video. Hey guys, if you're wanting my help to improve your golf, I put everything I know into my two programs here. In this one, I show you everything that you need to see in your swing in order to be a good ball striker. And if you don't see these things, I show you how to fix it. And in this one, I show you the course management knowledge that elite level players use to play good golf. And these are the things that I wish I knew a long time ago. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support me and my journey, it'd be awesome to have you as one of my patrons where you get access to a private group where I do live streams after my tournament rounds, have exclusive content for patrons only, and even do the occasional giveaway with signed putter head covers. Information about that is also in the description below.